Breeding of conifers or loblolly pine as, or, or slash pine as it's done here in the southeast uh, is, has been typically a very long process. It takes uh, a long time for you actually to be able to make the crosses because these trees need to mature, become adult, uh, flower. Uh, and even after you make a cross, it typically takes another year or two for you to actually obtain viable, viable seeds. Traditional breeding, uh, it, it tip, in traditional breeding it ha typically has taken about almost a quarter of a century for you to go through one cycle of, of breeding uh, in, for example, loblolly pine. Now, breeders have developed ways to accelerate some of these steps, so they've taken this down to maybe about 15, 15 to 20 years now. So it still takes a very long time. We work with uh, the breeding populations that we genotype. In other words, we uh, develop, we identify the molecular markers and the form, the form that those markers are and we also phenotype for the traits that we are interested about. And, and essentially we combine those two pieces of information, the phenotype with the genotype, to develop what we call predictive models. And those predictive models are essentially the basis for the identification in the next generations of the best genotypes. Now, if you suddenly are able to essentially eliminate or, or reduce dramatically that period of selection in the field of identification of elite genotypes, you could really be bringing down this uh, period of, of one cycle of breeding to five or six years. And that is, of course, very important, not only from a perspective of the industry, but also from the perspective of developing materials that are more adapted to climate change and, and, and new products, gen generating new products and so on. The goal of our research is really to be able to develop, to, to, to carry out a breeding program that is more efficient, that's more cost effective, they will really get to the industry the germplasm that they need at the time that they need. What we envision as being something that the approaches that we use right now will be useful at is not just in terms of accelerating breeding, but we also are working on ways by which we can actually identify very precisely the individuals that we should cross to make the most perfect allele combination, what will create the perfect tree.